she the one that asked us and she said you guys yep. do it every year. Yep, yeah. I recall, yeah, that she asked about it, but I don't, I know that you said that you, that you came back in another meeting and that it was declined that question. But I can double check on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's what happened. So just give us a price for what it would yep, cost. Yep, absolutely. That'd be great. Discussion. Um, do you have any concerns or questions about the festival this year? If a person, if a, I do have a question, if a person is interested in participating, mm -hmm. do they contact you or do they contact the email that's here on this? That would be me. <laughs> yeah, the Friends of Aguilar or the Aguilar Festival 2024 is the at gmail.com is the email for this year. Um, if you're interested in helping, volunteering, anything. It could be anything from something that takes all summer to help with, or even just a couple of hours the day of the festival, or with setup. Last year we did a park cleanup the day before, and it was very well attended. Um, I was really happy to see the community come out and help with that. Um, uh, but yeah, it doesn't have to be a bazillion hours to help out. And just an hour would be great. We're have grateful for anything we can get. Thanks for asking. Gas meter on the seven. Okay. They turned off. They got medical people for my doctors on the twelve, and they still haven't put the meter back in. I haven't seen a report for anything or doctor did. Well, they got it. If they're going to have that kind of information about it, to start calling and harassing and everything else. Um, the red tag um, was That's brought to my house on Tuesday afternoon. You guys moved the meter Thursday morning. That wasn't the three days that I'm allowed to get. And the other paperwork you guys sent me in the mail, I'm supposed to have seven days from when I see it or when you sent it to um, um, go over. I didn't get that paperwork until after meal was over. And I went to the post office Thursday morning. It was before 8.30, before they opened, so I wasn't able to get it. They came to my house at 10 o'clock. And the um, gas certified employee that you have did such a poor job of taking the meter out, he left the gas leak there for a whole fucking week. Okay. Whoa, was that out? House. From the line or, or what? He, he pulled the meter, uh, there was a lock on it, and instead of taking the lock off, he hit the valve on the outside to try to make it close, and it didn't. It was leaking all week. So my own health care worker went back there on Wednesday to get pictures of it, and she smelled gas. Yes. Thursday morning, the city of Walsall had to come down and remove the valve and replace it and cap it off. <coughs> then you don't have a leak no more? It's, it's shut off, right? Yes. Oh. Um, but I still have any gas, I still have any fucking in my house. How far behind is the other one, Bill's? Competent. Ooh, competent. Towards the end of the summer, uh, they stopped bringing me red tags. And then I got one, 
on on Tuesday the 5th and early Thursday morning in Oakland. So you, you've gotten how many red paints? Six. Six? John Power used to take from one house, four one from gate. Yeah. Yeah. And just out of curiosity, do you know how much your bill is? No, but the new bill will probably be a little over $1,600. And I also asked them to allow them to make their own arrangements. Separate the water bill from the gas. Rob, I need to be a water payment and arrangement. Yes. So you, you owe that much money in order to, to get the gas meter back on, you got to come up with that money. Payment arrangements. Payment arrangements. All right. When you guys owed sixty-five thousand, it was okay, right? That other people can get over ten thousand <laughs> excused off of their bill yeah. on a live stream. Mm -hmm. A couple weeks ago, Friday, all I had to do was that was call to make a payment arrangement. That is exactly what I told her. Why was she live at the I'm telling you that is not what I told her. I said that we would have worked with you if you would have contacted us, but you refused to contact us. So you stopped it from getting Joe, paid? Joe Porras handed that man a seven day note. Notice the day they pulled the meter on camera. Seven days later, they pulled the meter, but there was five previous red tags that I delivered. Do you have, and an, as well, Do you have an affidavit of service, please? As well Provide as an affidavit of service, please. Is there also an explanation as to why it was sealed off the way it was? Because that was either done by gross incompetence or on purpose. Which is it? Well, due to the and fact I'll that the not there, so I, I don't Donald. know for that. Would you like to see pictures? Donald, have to I have We've a video of pictures. Jesse taking it off, and he didn't do any of that stuff. Adjust. There is an actual video of him mm -hmm. doing it. Okay, I'll have it out. Produce it. So are you right going to let him make a payment arrangement? Now? Why? No. So you guys oh, didn't follow the process. Excuse me, excuse me. And he has to pay the he's, price. Had, he's had several chances to come in and do a payment arrangement. You guys were over eight months process. late on your gas bill, Donald. But I'm asking, okay. And Tyra was wrong. She disputed it and was wrong on $65,000. But that's okay for you, right? Not the fucking poor disabled man, right? You're something else, buddy. Yeah, your character shows. A good way well, to find a good middle ground on that is do what should have been done to begin with. Split that up. water and gas so that he's not paying for the water he objects to. And can't. make payment arrangements on the gas until you can figure out what's going on with the water. And we can show everybody what's going on with everyone's water. You are You're not going right. to do that? Right. I mean, they can't even do a water yeah. test, dude. Do you think we're going to be able to do something as complicated as that? We call the mayor. We call the mayor. I understand he owes a lot of money. I understand that causes a problem. But his health is, is not good. You are being I, would, I, would hope, I would hope that you guys would find a way. He has the letter. What, it was supposed to be turned back on, and, and it was not. So why has that not happened? So this is what oppression looks like. This is oppression. This is oppression. Yeah, you protest, that's what will happen to you guys. Understand that. Well, this is a because it's not a good thing. This is 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 a good thing. Is it true he was charged with tampering because he had a garden hose going from one house to the other? There, I don't know. All right. So, yeah, that's a great How come I haven't gotten my deposit back? The deposit stays in the It's still in your name. The meter's gone. I need to get. I need to have that deposit. Back. You won't get it back. It will go towards yeah. your bill. Because what they that do is fucking illegal in Colorado. You cannot put the deposit on the bill. If if I left I got a question on the and then you went turned it off or pulled the meter, that would be different. Yes, and you owe a bill. 
that is what the deposit is for. If you leave and you still owe a bill, then it goes towards your bill. What else you live in? Over that 335 on my grandparents. I bought that house in 1944. I would think the Robert city Robert would Water. be able to do something to help the citizens. Yes. Yeah. Robert Water. Is, Robert's yes. water's off, right? Everything's yes. Enjoy that water, Mayor. Yeah. Enjoy that sip of water. Enjoy that bottle of water. Robert's water's not off. Oh, it's off. Pardon? Robert's water's not off. I turned it off before the last time. Let's not forget the water test, though. The mayor drinks bottled water. Yeah. Robert has received a lot of water. 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 It's called a multi dwelling unit. That's not considered a multi dwelling unit. Okay. A group or parceling is considered. This is the first time that something with gas was done improperly, putting not only first responders, but residents. In they don't care. Only on the small detail. Well, Robert, Excuse me. According, according to what Sarah said, they've got all the copies of red tape they, they served you. They've got copies of well, the input notices. And, and what about payment arrangements? Have you guys contacted them on payment No, well, we've tried. Oh, and he won't contact us. We will try again. He's sitting right but, in front of He's sitting you're acting like he's not there. Making the same day it snowed. It's not looking good. Yeah, Friday and half You got another snowstorm last weekend. Do you get served with doctor's paperwork oh. telling yeah, you, you to reconnect his doctors. services? That is him making the effort. That's if right. been below zero, would they still pull this meter? What's yep, up? they did. It was below zero. It was below freezing. Below zero, but they still pulled this meter. They Even if they wanted to the big kids in the house, and they still pulled this meter. They if can't with good, kids. It should be against the law. Yeah. It is against the law. It's the same for that same person on dialysis. So, were they still did it? Yeah. If, if there were big kids in the house and below not, zero, would they still did kids, it? No. But he's disabled. He's disabled. He's disabled. And it's the middle of winter. And he's on dialysis. He's on dialysis. Part of that money gets pulled out for my um, so much was done wrong. Part of that gets money gets pulled out for something well. else. Uh, sometimes I can barely pay the back pay on my land, John. And I only get um, $22 in the pocket stuff. So I can spend two to fifty of my check on food. Money is gone for less than a week when I first get it on. Uh, something like that. I'm real familiar, but there's there's leap. Leap also has a, a program where you can request utility payments. There's uh, churches. There's other Don't places in Trinidad huh? that Don't offer. Don't cover water. And every single one of those places will come back to you. You just simply want to charge. But they're kind of out. And they still cover water. Funny, that and the bills are together. How can they separate them for a lease payment, but not for him to pay? Five years is a long time in the past. They do have a lot of programs that do help. In the city, they don't turn off their electricity like that. They don't pull the meter. They're like that. They don't do that. I don't work for the city. I don't know. I mean, what's the difference between the city and the town of Aguilar? I can't tell you. I don't know. 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 I
You guys look down right here. Everybody who, who makes the decision right here and they won't find a middle finger. The doors were locked. He made an attempt. I got it on video. Bullshit. We got it on the sheriff's department body cam multiple times. Doors are locked. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. You don't lie as good as Tyra. Try again. I can't wait till you guys have to answer. That is not what the record shows, Tyra. That is not what the record shows. That's Sarah. That's Sarah. She don't lie as good. Oh, that's not Tyra? No. Let me look into it. She's a Tyra. Burn. Well, the are so different, right? Yeah. Oh, your turn, Bert. He's still there talking. <laughs> I know, because they just cut him off. And yeah, his three minutes are gone. Yeah, how about it? Let's talk about it. That's what I want to know. How about you, Gerald? When are you going to clean your shit up? All them fucking tires and all the oil barrels and shit out there. When are you going to clean that shit up? You need some grace? We'll give you a little grace period to get it cleaned up. Hold on, hold on. We need to get through this meeting because there's important stuff like water taps being approved that shouldn't be approved because you're still on water restrictions. I'd like to get to that so I can hear you approve them and break the law yet again. Oh, God, it's so much fun coming and watching you guys break the law. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's calm down. I would like I would like to get through this meeting. I can't I mean, push you out of the way. If you want to stand there, I have to wait. Robert, I'm sorry, I'm brother. Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to disrespect you. Like you, guys, you know, there's new people you know, right there. They want, to, they want answers. Yes, we do. That's it. So do the old ones. Yep. <laughs> Where are the water tests? Where are the water tests? In her hand. What's changed? You got water oh, tests? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, water tests. Oh, there's so many. That can't be done because of one resident mm -hmm. refused to get it done. We don't send in the nine samples or a substitute like sample. Let's go ahead and finish everybody's stuff. Yes, please. Yes. Stuff because we're all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bernie, are you going to give yours or what are you going to do? Excuse me? Are you going to give yours? We're waiting Someone's at the podium. They ain't hear him. Somebody's up there. We're waiting to hear yes or no. If you are going to work with Robert, now that things have gotten to here, are you going to work with him from I here forward him, or is there nothing? Look into it. I motion we take a vote to I let Robert. I want you to look into it. I second, second that. that motion. I second Thank that you. motion. Let's take yeah. a vote to allow Robert to make payment arrangements. Robert, make the motion, Robert. <laughs> well, maybe Sarah could tell you what the uh, paperwork from my doctor said. Mm -hmm. I want to look at it, so. Yeah. Have her read it to you. And where's Tyra? She's very central to a lot of the misinformation. Yeah. She's on that little box. Oh. So they don't want to face. Yeah. That's okay. There's always tomorrow, Robert. We can come in and talk. All of us. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. We love you, Robert. We love you, Robert. Thank you so much. I want to talk about the agenda this time. Uh, again, no podium, no microphone. We can't, I was standing back here and we cannot hear you. No, we can't hear you. There's a reason so why. So this really needs to be mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to start with the recall election. I've been going through this with Secretary of State, the uh, uh, county clerk. If you guys are voting tonight, I'm not positive this will happen. If you try to do this in August, you're wrong. This could be done in April, by April 22nd. And the... the the Secretary of State's office, the election division is called here and explained this to them. And if you try putting this off, all it is is to keep you two on the council whenever you should be recalled. It should have been recalled because Tyra 
missed the first, you know, she has two days to originally approve the petition. Took her two weeks. Fed on the signatures, it takes her another two weeks. That put it to her that you're trying to use the excuse that we're in the middle of the primaries. Well, the thing is, we're statutory towns run by town council, and that doesn't affect us running this recall. You should be recalled in. Uh, I forgot his name, but he should be recalled also. <laughs> <laughs> he, knows, he knows who he is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Huh? It's been a while. Yeah, we don't know what's in. No. Mr. Cardinal, he's incorrect. I checked with the Secretary of State. They have no uh, legality over the town of Angelor. Why is he talking? Why? It's called point of order. Bang your little fucking gavel. God damn. Tyra is out of order. Point of order. You're not supposed to hear her. It's called point of order. Shut up, Tyra. Shut up. You're interrupting. Reclaim all you know your what? fucking Turn time back, Bernie. Come and speak. Shut up. Let him have his three minutes, please. Point of order. Bang your little fucking deal. Get your little egg beater out. Point of order. I'm talking to the council. No, you're not. You are not. Lyra. 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 Tyra. Tyra, I'd just like to say the recall against Vern didn't take half this long. Yeah. I think you're milking it. These are individuals who have the right to be here. I didn't bring them. I didn't tell them what to say. I don't control these people. I control me. Would you shut up, please? Very good. Do, do your fucking job, Donald. You weak bitch. Bang your gavel and say point of order, dummy. All right, get past the recall. I want to go to uh, uh, the 202 Grimes demo zoning. I have no problem with improvements in the town, but if you guys remember three months ago, Everyone sat here and said that the homeowners on that street would be notified and explained to what's going on with this. That didn't happen. One person I know of and is not a homeowner was talked to about this. Why are we left out of this? This is the block that we've invested our money into. Yet you want to come in and my complaint is, and it could be something that could be worked out. It's going to be a fourplex there, and there's two parts of this. There's possibly eight new vehicles that you want parked on that corner that there's not room for parking. Exactly. And the other thing is, is on the water caps. You guys talked about this multi-dwelling. These are four units. Are you couldn't let them run off one because last person tried a fourplex. You required four meters. And what are you charging this man for? Three to five thousand dollars. You know what, you guys, you're not consistent, except for you, you're not consistent with what you do. You make these choices, you force us to live with it, and I think you should table that one until the rest of the people on Grime Street get talked to about this, so we know what's going on. And I'm not against progress here, I'm just against you ignoring me and treating me like I'm nothing. And everyone else on that street has the right for this. And you're rezoning, and this brings us to Ken Torres. What is his job here? He's going around saying that he's the building inspector, that he's uh, making people come down and file permits. Are we paying this man $65 an hour to go out and collect a $25 permit? I'm going to step in here. You're, no, 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 you're no, not. This is me. No, 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 you no, said point of order. Yeah. It's point of order. Ken, you as a commissioner, you piece of shit, you know better. Sit down. Wow. Point of order. Are you on the agenda, oh, sir? What I'm up, asking man? a question. I don't care if he's upset or not. You guys, Fuck him. it's not your job to assign these jobs to people. It's up to the town council in the meeting to give these jobs. You hired him for $65 an hour under contract. 
yet he's going around uh, to businesses, he's going around to homes, and he's playing like he's the building inspector. We want to see the payroll. Right. We, want, yeah. we want the payroll. Yeah. What is his job? We can request that. Are we paying him $65 yeah. an hour? We don't answer corner requests. All right. You know what? And, and this guy here, uh, this Mr. Drake, he's got every reason to be upset with you guys. You haven't been clear on anything. There's a good chance that you're sticking with twelve to fifteen thousand dollars on these meters, which all of this should, even the quality of the water and the amount of water, should have been explained to him at the beginning of this. Instead of letting him get this far into it and find out, hey, here's all these problems I got to deal with. <coughs> Personally, I'd like to see that house gone. I'd like to see something there. But I'd also like to have the respect if I'm a homeowner there, I own that home. I want to know what's going in on our block. I feel like I got the right to do that. And it shouldn't be up to this man to do it. It should be up to you. You guys said that three months ago at the meeting, we would all be informed. Only one person was informed. That's not doing your job. And that's only because I went to them and asked. That's yes. the only reason I know what I know. And not to say anything bad about Sue, she's watching the interests of the homeowner, but she rents. We're homeowners, yeah. a lot of us, and we should be at least talking. To and I've got nothing against this guy. I hope that he takes that thing down, and I hope that something gets approved to be put there. But I, I want to know where the parking's going to be, how you're going to do this. How did you come up with the zoning? You know, well, all these plans should be out. All right, and I'll let that one go. Let's see. Cora requested. Removal of yeah, yeah. Marciano. Good with that one. I'm thinking of class action. Uh, class action. Class action lawsuit, guys. Yeah. Ever heard of that? Yeah. Just defray expenses in excess of amounts budgeted for the town of Aguilar, Colorado. What does that mean? <laughs> Good question. Yeah. You're going to take money from one account to another account. How much money? Why? What happened to the original mm -hmm. budget? What's You're with the miscellaneous money? Yes. You're putting this to where the guy threw that tonight. What happened to the mission money? You just opened up a purse that you guys could get into at any time and rearrange money and spend it. Would you shut up, please? Do your job, Mayor. Hey, Mayor, do your fucking job. Do your job. Do have me remove. Fuck you. Do your job. Point of order. The man's talking. Really? Do you think you could have people removed at the meeting? We bomb the mayor. Hold on. 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 So if I can't get up and talk without being on the agenda after my three minutes, how in the fuck is she able to run her fucking mouth That's all she wants? Ask the question. Tyra, Tyra will ask her remain question. silent. Tyra, be silent. Lyra. Lyra. Why don't you say, why don't you tell her to be silent? That's yeah. what I want to know. Why You're the, the mayor. mayor speak all right. up. Point of order. It's his job. Exactly. He's just a town employee. Let's let him finish. I don't get it. You are not qualified. Jesus Christ. What else, Kurt? What else did you have to say? Yeah, take a break. You're a worthless piece of shit, Donald. I motion burn, get his three minutes back. Yeah, all of it. I, I second that motion. I second that motion. We call Donald. We call Donald. A vote will be held by yeah, a raise of hands. <laughs> raise your hand. See you later, Donald. Bye, Donald. Bye, Bye. 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 <laughs> well, they're really in. This is going to come up for you guys to vote on. It's on the agenda. But there's no clear idea of where this money's going to, why it wasn't budgeted properly, and what it's coming from. There's not been an audit for 2019. Nothing's went through. Yet on the budget reports that we see, 
you charge for an audit every year. So where does where is that money? If the audits haven't been done, why did we pay for an audit? No, none of this makes sense on the money. We have no idea what this town has in, in money anymore. The $5.8 million on the augmentation pod, not one word of, of $1 of where that money's at. You know, it could be oh, in somebody's pocket that. here. We <laughs> don't know. Um, Follow the money. <laughs> I know where some of it went. A thief in the office. We need your help in this, guys. I wasn't so much for recalling you at first, but now I have none of you. He doesn't show up. This is the first time in months. I don't get it. But, but you approve stuff that you have no idea what they're talking about. Do you know what this is without Tyler saying anything? Tell me what this is. The fray expenses in excess of amount budgeted for the town of Aguilar. What does that mean? That means that every every fund that we have, gas, water, sewer, all that money, if they're short, that money will go in, into that account. That's what that means. Wasn't that Quite what the other budget was for? What account? And how much money are we talking about? And precisely, you're not going to strip all of the accounts for an account that we don't know what's going on. You're not going to do that, or you shouldn't be able to do it. So can I request that full budget? Yep, you guys to all I only got a partial budget us, this so year. This can I get all of those budgets to figure out where money's going? Mm -hmm. You can come in and look at them. Yeah. Just look? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. Hey, but where, where are we at in the meeting, sir? What are we, what are we doing here? Right now, it's, it's uh, going over the agenda. The attorney. Oh, my God. Right. No, and and she you know, public, public comment is not for open argument or discussion. I mean, I think we're way beyond. So that's what I'm going to say. That's how tired. Shut the fuck up. Have you had my time? To Tyra. Tyra. I'm going to say you getting paid. Tyra. Yeah. Tyra. 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 A lot. A lot. You're on your payroll, huh? Is he supposed to be working for the people? I can't hear you. What do you yeah, say? He's supposed to be working he's, for uh, the people. He's the what do you say? He's lawyer. He's not the people's right. lawyer. No, yeah, he don't work for us. He is the wrong In the First situation. Amendment, it's cat well, That's even funnier. Oh. What's the lawyer's name? Clayton Buffett. Clayton I would like some information on the audit. Yes. Okay. How is it progressing? Just getting up there. What do you mean? That's what I heard last time. He's getting up there. How long have we had? Been on it. Five years. Five years. I can't hear you. Twenty. Two thousand twenty is what they're up to. Well, you know, we've got to start moving. We're doing a we've got to do again. something. What is this guy doing? Is he working from the garage, or what is he doing? We need somebody that come and I don't know. Get it done. That's what takes so long. Just honesty. If we can't do it, I gave her a number that they could come and do it. Well, so far they're, they're this is what we want. They got it. You're five years behind. Yep. To tear everything up. You start dragging your feet, this and that, and you get it further away. This is what we want. We want to get that audit done. And quit dragging your feet. Call that guy. Call him. 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 Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Good job, Frank.
Good job. Utility report. Documenting the corruption in Aguilar, Colorado. Let's make a documentary about it. And he's also the one that physically attacked somebody out there. What he was a mob. Oh, he's one of the members of the recall community. I've got to doing all the documents are going to come up next. That one that shot you. And then we're going to be held to account. Changed out five gas meters, did one new install. We're gonna have to go change out two for sure because we put security tabs on them in two particular ones, and those security tabs were for she don't remove the face of the meter and they've been popped out. So somebody's delivering <coughs> just in their own gas. So on, on something like that, we have. We have the right to be able to put in there. We're going to put a whole entire brand spanking new meter in it. Mm -hmm. And it's got the circuit, the cables to it, so that way they can. The only way to get to it is cut. And then that way it's it's basically, if they cut it, then, then we actually have the right to do something. Anything else? Yeah. Mm, I got. Uh, List of stuff, I'm not going to go over too much of it, but the main thing that we do need to worry about right now is that pickup. It's, it's about ready to die. It's leaking oil so bad and stuff. We got the oil pan checked. Nobody wants to do it. Um, Flywheel's grinding and it's it's on its last day. It's almost 300,000 miles on it. What is that? 2,000. Collectors and past. So I don't know. I mean, to get it in, we can get it in depending on if you guys actually want to start seeing some money into it to keep it running. Can we just get estimates on the new? Yeah, I can go look for used, new used, newer. I can bring estimates in for the assault and just plain work through it. It'd be nice to get one with, with all the drawers and cabinets and all that in there. Yeah. Oh, well, why don't you start looking around to see if you can find one, you know, like use one. Okay. So not too many miles. Or... Check and see. Also, the budget too. So that we know how much 
Shut off right now. We're not even using it. It's locked up. Where where did it break out? All on the hinges. It even swung down. And they're hitting. <laughs> so you're, you're talking about when the garage door opened, you got your, your hinges on each section. Yeah, there's yeah. three sets. Two of them broke off, and when the wheel popped out of the other one, or the pin, it swung down. It won't even seal up all the way now. Is it secure though? Yeah, it's secure now. We got it down, you can't lift it up, and then we got the bolt through it and it's locked. Why don't you, why don't you get us some bids on them also? And that way we can look at it and see if we can get that in place also. Because okay. The way you guys have your equipment, you need to go off the front or the back. Yeah, and Fritz just said they'll do it for the same price <coughs> they did the back door. And they were the cheapest out of the four bids that I got. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get them for us again. Yes, sir. We'll have it. Anything else? Uh, yeah, actually, sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you guys been up to the uh, crump wells lately. You can hardly access them. They're so bad. It's from all the snow and the runoff, and Mr. Primer's not too happy with it. Our easement road going through there because it's not been taken care of. And it's, it's going to need some work like it's going to need some work there's absolutely no gravel on those roads and anytime it gets wet while we're doing a swing in mud and making ruts and that water just sits in that road and it's it's he, like i say he's not he's not happy with it mm -hmm. uh mr primer he owns that land that wells around <laughs> it used to be uh parsons and parsons sold it to primer and he said the one thing that they agreed on was keeping it up keeping it up and it hasn't been but it's going to take some doing i mean we're going to put it in a lot of places i can take you guys in when you guys up to show you i have to fill it in with pit run because it's it's like a it's like a swimming pool on half the, half the road and it's still like that now yep it takes weeks to dry out and by the time it gets dried out more moisture comes back in right back in Council people about that. Hmm. Well, that would part of the agreement. Yeah. That's for the Crown Crimmer's land. It's, yeah, it's our right, right away. We have to keep it up. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, What's your suggestion with that? We're going to have to build it up. We're going to have to get it get it fixed. I don't know any other way. I mean, we're going to have to go in with probably pit run stuff to get it. Back and then put road base on it or some type of material because it's, it's just swamp, it's all clay right now. Get us some bids of what that stuff would run a, a ton and see how, how many tons you would need. Okay, uh, I'll have pictures printed out too for you guys. I do have them on the phone, I forgot to get them done tonight, so I apologize for that. And then uh, the other two guys, they're doing good, working hard. They're enjoying it. Gas learning, Jesse's trying to run. We're limited on supplies for the gas, but he knows and he's working with it. So they're doing good. Joe, I had a question, if that's okay. Sure. Um, I don't really have a problem with it, but um, your name's Jesse, right? Um, went over my back fence and bent it instead of going through the gate like Kenneth. And um, I'm not okay with that. Okay. I mean, I, it's you know our fence is a piece of crap. Right. So that's Michael. That's not Jesse. Oh, I'm sorry. I he don't know. It's, I, have, I have it on camera okay. and everything. I, just, I will address I, it and make sure that doesn't happen again. Thank you. Anything else, John? No, sir. Do you want me to hold either one? I'd like to go up there and look at that road. 
Yes, sir. Some more dollars Thank in you. the pocket. Uh -huh. Maybe some more dollars Is in the pocket. Is it true that girls. some of the fire hydrants here in Aguilar mm -hmm. aren't working? Not that I know of. Oh, no. Go ahead. Be honest. I don't know. I said not that I know of. I just got on. I'm running through some of them and starting to work what I can. Mark down that they are or they aren't. So far, I've been starting on the south side. I started a week and a half ago on them. I flushed the sewers, and I've been using them. I've been marking down the ones that are working. I don't know which ones aren't. I can't find a list of yes or no. Yes, they're working. No, they're working. So I'm having to go to them each individually myself and check them. So hopefully I can get them done as soon as possible and get the ones that aren't working addressed. And you're comfortable in your skills and being able to tell because so far we have not been very impressed with the level of professionalism that's been exhibited by the town and town hall and utility. So it's been, it's I will been, get it out. I will let you guys know. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you. That's for sure. That's, that's all. So can I ask a question before you sit down? Uh, that guy that pulled my meter, he's gas certified? Yep. Mm -hmm. He was gas certified before he came to Eglon. And it still carries over. It doesn't matter if it's just for there. Uh, That's his license, just like a CDL license is yours. Right, it but doesn't that normally take 60 to 90 days to no, transfer doesn't. over? Um, what is his last name? So then it was on purpose? I would like to ask the yeah. state. I would like to ask the state about his certification. What is his last name? Pacheco. Okay. So, Ken, uh, I came here to talk about the reservoir. The reservoir about 65 to 70 percent complete. Um, set, uh, the, the USDA approved uh, the, the change over, I mean, the, the grant for town of Megillah to get reimbursed for all the power flows to be removed, and it's going to be back to the taxpayers 20, 20 to 25,000. Uh, they've also agreed to reimburse the town for the attorney fees. For the water use issue, so there's about another 40 50,000. The project is in budget, it's on budget right now. Um, there's some delays because they're having problems getting clay liner uh, material for the floor, for, for a still a reservoir floor. So they're about a third of the way through that. So their their contact company is from Wyoming, is having a hard time supplying the the rest of the uh, clay pit night to still the floor. Um, they asked for an extension due to the fact with the weather. Um, the water attorney, Jerry, is, is requesting that the state, you know, uh, give us time so we can start filling the reservoir. So it's it's an ongoing process, but everything seems to be going good, except for the time extension. We were hoping to have it done by the end of March. It's it looking more like April now, and it's April 1st today. Um, we met with CDPHE and Black and Beach uh, with Dola, Tara, Tara Marshall, for about two weeks ago, three weeks ago here. Uh, we discussed uh, getting funding for the new coronation building and uh, uh, new water tower. Uh, Dola committed mm -hmm. to get to at least a million dollars for this project. CDPG is working to try to get the other funding so this way it's, it's not a tax burden to the taxpayers of, of Aguilar. And the reason for that is because Aguilar is considered a, um, a disadvantaged community uh, with the high high uh, rate of elderly folks. So they, they need that retired, so they're still looking at that. Uh, one other issue is that we're also applying for a lead, uh, a lead and, and uh, copper uh, uh, replacement of all the service lines within the community. So this way, we can try to replace all the service lines that have lead or uh, galvanized within the community. So um, we're checking with CD, CD, PH on that, see what the criteria is on that. They'll let us know. So this way, if we have to replace those service lines, it's not going to be a burden to the taxpayers. It will be. It'll be uh, on behalf of CDB. You know, there's a mandate, state mandate for all the communities. Chin has gone through the same thing to replace all these service lines. So they have, they have to be done, I believe, by 2028. 2028. So we're trying to get ahead of the game, try to get some of the funding here, so this way we get that going. The the, the community center kitchen uh, wiring uh, has, has been completed. Um, we're applying, trying to apply for a grant to try to get the entire uh, electrical system for the library and also for uh, the community center fixed. So there's a grant uh, it's for green energy, so uh, they were also asked to be uh, powered by uh, Santa Isabel and also through a supplemental for solar panels. So we're trying to see to get that supplemental taken care of as well. So those are pretty much the report. Uh, the only thing is that duplex that we were talking about, um, the, city, uh, the town of Aguilar would have to, has to, what do you call it, uh, set a special hearing to do, the, to do the zone change that we talked about, you and I. Um, it's now considered low density residential. 
it's going to be moved to higher density residential, but there's going to be a public comment uh, period so everybody has input on the question and concerns that you might have over there. And one of the other issues was the water tap. You know, so all that issue is, is going to be addressed on that. So, yes, sir. That new water tower, where is that supposed to be put up? Well, we're trying to get the funding for it now. Oh, uh, so, so we we hired, we have to hire the engineering company. Not in time soon, though, right? We'll try to get the funding trying, within the next year or so. Yeah, you know that's, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. Who's writing for the grants? Who's writing for grants? I'm working with CDPHE. Mm -hmm. You are. Yeah. Okay. That's all I need to know. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> I was told to ask the board, and I think you might know, mm -hmm. but where do we stand with owed consumptive water credits? See that? I, I cannot answer. No. That I do not know. The old water consumption credit. That, that's something I, I, that's no something that I, don't, I, I have no idea. No. You do realize that I've been after this answer, and nobody seems to have it. Yes, yes, you know, the information. I'll, I'll try to get. Oh. Yeah, how much the consumptive water credits do we, the, the town, oh, is all I'm trying yeah. to find out. That's, yeah, I, I don't know, I, you know, but I could try to get that information for you. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Then I'll tell you this. Yes, sir. Why don't you go talk to Mr. Waller out there, he can tell you. Yeah, maybe you probably could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, water reservoir, that, yes. that, that reservoir, what's, what's that going towards? Yeah. The, uh, water the water reservoir is present? built because it was a state court order from the uh, Colorado Division of Water Resource for all the water that the town of Aguilar is, is pumping from uh, the aquifer. Uh, they have to replace that. So in other words, all the water that the town is using, you'll have to build this reservoir to, to pay back the users of, of the water. Is know, that reservoir the, being um, used to, to, for irrig irrigation on the cattle and all that stuff? No, too, no, 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 it's not. That's no. to pay back the no, it's, it's to pay back the state of Colorado and also oh, the yeah, users yeah. on the fish and pop, um, and the state of Colorado for that for the use of that water. So all the water that the town is using on those wells has to be paid back, and the state is uh, is, uh, is on a mandate to make sure that that's. It is. So where's all the water going from the wells then? The, the water from the wells are being used here for the town. And a whole lot of it's So. So. I don't know. They're, they're trying to say that, that uh, the wells are low because of the people overwatering and all that. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, how, how could that be? You know? I mean, are, 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 they, are they pull water out? Are they pulling water out to go put the water somewhere else? Are they in their containers and, and all that to go water their livestock or what? I have not been. You know, that information. That's what I want to know. No, no, sir. What that what it was was when they had a leak in their tank, they tried to use the excuse that everybody was using too mm -hmm. much water, watering their lawns and whatnot and so forth. And I know is, that which is what caused the low water in the tank. Are you using that much water to water their lawn? I don't think so. So <laughs> anything else? I have a question. As yes, the as the main grant writer. Do you get a percentage of that no. grant? No. Does the business you work with no. at all receive the grant at all? No, 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 no. The clean water stuff, you know, they say that for my services, I can, you know, but it's all depends on, on the state criteria. Because there was some concern when you first came across, you told grades. everybody you were a volunteer. And no, that yes. wasn't no, no, no. Yes. I've never said I was a volunteer. Yes, you did. You did. Honestly, did. Honestly, you did. You, did. you, did. you, did. you, did. you did. told me you that personally that you were a volunteer. It's on video and it's in the community center. I'm not done. Set date for recall. I'm not done. When you write these grants, don't you need a budget to submit with this grant? Yes, you, if you want to come down here, I can show you how we do it. I work, uh, I no, just, no, I work with DOLA. I, work I just with don't know how you can submit a grant like with a budget that we do not have, a balanced budget. Well, they have the budget from the last years and stuff, you know, so that's Five years? <laughs> you know, so. You know, lady, I don't know. I'm just That's doing the job stuff. You know, yeah. If it's fraud, then the state will know. I'll just take it. We're not getting it. There is no one to say. Set for recall election. Set date for recall election 2024. Next week. Next week. Next week. Boy, it got quiet. April 1st. How about that? That's yeah, yeah, it's appropriate. April 1st. I think it's down to be. What about recall? 
Sure. May I ask a question, sir? Um, we've talked about this. Okay, because of the primaries, like Vern had mentioned, it throws that out, right? Okay. Okay, well, what I'm asking is, there's a, I don't have it on my, on my phone or on me, but there's a point over May, the end of April and May, 1st of May, that we should be able to do it. You can't do it 32 days before primary or 32 days after. And there's one in May, there's one in June, so that's August 6th is the date that we can do it. Okay. Or agree. Yeah. So it's August 6th? You have a motion? It's almost like a year after it was a motion to go with the date of August 6, 2024, but the date for a recall election. No, that's not the same one. What are you talking about? What are you talking about on the agenda? Um, what, Bob? Mayor Pro Tem? Yes. On the agenda. Ms. Gallagher? I don't yes. have a copy. Mrs. Gonzalez? <laughs> Ms. Gonzalez? I abstain. I abstain. <laughs> That's probably smart. Mr. Hannum? Resolution 2024, Scott Street, comma 1. This is uh, for the additional sums of money. I'm sorry, Monica, we didn't hear you. I'm asking them about um, this notice that we have, the resolution number 24.3.1. At the bottom, it has a different year compared to the top. So that's what I'm asking. Thank you. Table with us until next meeting until we can get the dates fixed. Is this just to defray the expenses in the gas, water, and sewer? Pretty much. You mentioned that while ago. 
Yes, and then the general fund also. It's like when you were sitting on the board, if there, if there was one that was low or whatever, we went to this and got it. Can I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. I also, whenever I was on the board, I brought it up to the council that whenever Ellen Larson was mayor, we paid the sewer fund off. Where's all of that money? The man sitting right up there said, Tyra, we need to check into it. Has anybody checked into it? I haven't, to be honest with you. And that's $24 versus 12. Where's all that money? I think we know. I'll ask. Motion for liquor permit for a friend of the Vagmar. Well, how much money we grant them the liquor permit? Second. Why are you arguing with the motion? Oh, no, I'm not going to second. Second. I hear you, Monica. for trustee Mark Piano, CRS 31-4-307. Yes, sir. Did you have... So... Go oh, ahead, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I was told that uh, Mr. Piano moved outside of the town limits, and I guess that's for him to either confirm or deny. I just, that was what the information that was relayed to me. No, I have it. Did you say you have or have not? Sir? I have not. It's hard to hear from me. I'm sorry. You I have me. not. I didn't hear what you said, Mr. Tano. Have not. He said he has not. You have no. not. Okay. So, I mean, that, that's just the information that uh, relates to me. If, if Mr. Piano doesn't live in town limits, 314 requires that you know, he be stepped out or be removed from board of trustees, but if he lives within town limits, then, um, you know, there's no issue. So, but I was just, that was the information that was given to me by staff. What? Did you change your registration or anything more? Well, that's What's right. happened is my driver's license has always been down at 289 Hundred Road. I mean, so my voter registration has always been here. Proper to run. So, I mean, yeah, somebody changed it. Uh, it's tough to the clerk staff down there. I didn't get a chance to talk to the clerk. They're trying to figure out what happened. 
they come up with an IP address and they're trying to trace it. That's all they can So they basically you didn't go down and go switch it? Or no, I'd have to take my driver's license and sign paperwork. None of that stuff. Mark, aside from this where you live or where you don't live, whatever, you miss like nine meetings. Well, not all of them. I've been on that one so long. I have to go back with the girls and see which ones. Mark? No. Yes. I know I've missed meetings. Thank you, Honestly, Joe. Honestly, the best policy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that's so right. Can I be Can we call for it? Don't try to lie. And we'll talk to the board what, what you want to do. He says he did not change it on his own. He has missed meetings. So it's up to the board what you want to do. Can I ask a question? Mark, what's the address on your voter ID? Um, I don't have it with me. Uh, right now, it's probably still 406 Pinion. Where's that at? It's the McLean's house. Where? You guys have been... Susan's house. Susan's house. You guys have been very vocal about us not being welcome because we don't live in town proper and we have no voice and we're not allowed to be on council and all this mm. stuff. And y'all been very, very aggressively vocal about That's us true. not belonging. That's so it, it bothers a lot of people that, and I don't know Mark, I, I, I don't know you so much. <laughs> I have nothing against you. But it does, you need to have people here and people are, are right to want answers. They are right to, to want a council that can be here. No one I but, to, but to discount everybody else who also has a stake in this town but then allow other people on the board who don't that's a double standard and yeah. that you guys gotta yeah. quit doing double standards that's sure. right that's no right thank you thank you correct no more double standards then when i moved over to 160 east back up and they decided to do something different with that house so at this point i'm living at 212 um, San Antonio, for 260. Did you change your voter ID? I have it yet. But see, why are you still here? Yeah. Because I got so many dates to do that, and I got till I think it's the end of May. What I don't understand is all the times you were here at the meeting, you why haven't you been recalled to get off off the board? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Because I've always lived in town. But it doesn't matter. Plus, you're allowed to to make threats to public servant and still be allowed on the board. The board members should guys should have voted you out voted you out when you did that. Yep. Why did they not do that? That's what I want to know. When you make that threat to Robert, you should have been automatically off the board. We sure. The department reviewed it on Ringo's cameras and on Apple's cameras. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You ain't the, he's not the only one that you made a death threat to. Tom's counter what's your opinion? I don't get it. I really don't. You guys aren't even holding up, holding yourselves up to your own standards. That's stand. right. That's Tara right. being the worst of the bunch. That's budget. tyranny, exactly guys. Exactly right. Yeah, double standards. That's yes. tyranny. Tara must go. You know, Tara you, must you go. guys are all sit up on, on that board. What do you, what do you think on on this? I can't hear anything because everybody's yelling. Liberty and justice for all. Amen. That's right. <laughs> well, what, what what is your take on on this? Uh, what, which issue, the town issue or the attendance issue? Let me just go through with the... I get up. If Mr. Piano, Mr. Piano doesn't live in town limits or he's not, a, you know, he's not a resident of the town, then he cannot buy town regulations beyond the board. If you wanted to consider removing Mr. Piano for lack of attendance, that's also within town regulation. You have to notice, give him notice and have a public hearing and then remove him for that reason, which is not why we're here tonight. Tonight we're here to discuss, I thought this, I was given information that Mr. Pan might not be a resident of the town anymore, that he moved to the county, and that's why this was cut off. Nothing more, nothing less. And so other issues, and again, it's nothing, I believe somebody said it's not personal against Mr. Piano, it's just, it's a statute. It says that you have to be a resident of the town to be on the board, and Mr. Piano is a resident of the town, so he's lawfully allowed to sit on the board. He's not. I, I think that's the end of that issue. He's if, not. If the board wants to discuss removing Mr. Piano for other reasons, you have to notify him in accordance with statute and hold a public hearing, which this is not a public hearing. 
regardless of the Republic's comments during your discussion, it's still not technically a public hearing. There's no process, there's no notification. So, so how, how long do you have to, to set something up like that? Uh, what, a, um, a notice and then a hearing? Correct. Yeah, it would just be, it would just be um, either a letter or verbal notice to Mr. Piano if he accepted it, and then you would just put it on the agenda for a special or the next regular meeting. Or do that. Thank you. I do it. Is there a motion to go ahead and, and uh, do it that way? So that's why it has to work for the attendance. So it'll be set for the next meeting, is that right? Mr. Mayor, are you directing me to draft a notice to Mr. Piano? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir, if you would, please. Yeah, if Mr. Piano wants to accept the notice verbally right now, that'd be fine, but I don't know if he wants to or not. I don't know what the situation is. I want it right. Yes, sir. So the attorney will go ahead and drop the letter and it'll be on our next uh, regular board meeting. We can get rid of him right now. He don't live in town. That's what the vote is on yeah, yeah. the board for it right now. He says he does. He doesn't. His okay. documentation doesn't show it. Well, it does on uh, 202 Brian's demo and Zoning. Now we've got, we got partial of what he brought in for the, for the complex, but he never brought it in on the parking. Uh, the, the demolition, I mean, Right now, I, I think that house is a hazard. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't mind if he demos it for now you know, to get it out of there. But to start building or anything like that, because right now you, you know we're still on water restrictions, so we can't we can't issue any uh, water anyway. It already has water, doesn't it? He'd have to he'd have to put in a separate one for each unit. Okay. You can't you can't just run one for all four. Uh -huh. So it would be a separate gas, separate water. Well, oh, and there's no gas line on that property either. Yeah, he'd have to put that in. <laughs> yeah. So, and I don't remember last time we talked to him if he brought anything up on that. Yeah, because I think the last time I talked, we were talking about the parking right there on that corner. That was it was kind of one of my concerns. It's not a good corner. Right. And see, the thing is, we haven't made a decision to him to start building there yet. Because, like, the last thing we had talked, we said, you know, we have a public deal on there. So, at this point, my my suggestion, it's only my suggestion, is to go ahead and just de demo for now, start cleaning them lots out, and then bring us, bring us a better idea of the parking. Uh, but, and I think everybody agrees on the street that that house needs to go right you know i don't think that that's an issue I, so was well, he going to demo the, the, the white one in the back too that whole they're separate they're separate properties they're separate? Mm -hmm. and how in the heck is he going to build a port, port complex there? <laughs> i've been asking that it's a it's yeah that back property is owned by someone else <laughs> they just own the red house to the wood fence that goes along the back but there's also the little shed and all that over here. It's a, I don't know. I don't know how it's, you know. The, the plans they showed me, it's going to look cute, you know, better than it does now. But I don't know. I don't know. Is he aware that he yeah. doesn't? Well, he has to first do the zone changing after he demos the building. Then the public input, then he brings in a set of with the parking. 
um, before any decisions are made. So those are questions that need to get brought up. You know, the demo part is the first one, and and then part of that he did he did do an asbestos and big uh, inspection, and there was asbestos that he had to be and, and it's on it. Uh, so it's, it's on his uh, permit for that as well. There's asbestos in it, like it was built in 1909. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Ooh, I don't like that. It's <laughs> awful close to my house. It's, it's just my, like I say, it's just my suggestion to go ahead and have them demo it, and then come back in with this plan for the parking lot. Uh, because I don't know how, how big were the units get. One bedroom. <coughs> How big were how big were the units? You know, square feet and stuff. Uh, there's a set. I don't have the He there. said that there were two one bedroom units and two studios. One studio, yeah. But there so they're not like. Tiny. Not yeah. big. More like a tiny, tiny, tiny uh, uh, housing. Yeah. Like. Okay, well, let's see if we can get a hold of him and tell him, yeah, you can demo it for now. But we want the the drawing of the parking lot and. Everything else he's going to be doing with that. Board agree? Yep. Mm -hmm. you have a on that? Um, he does, like, I, I think I've asked you this, but he does know that that's divided. Because my, my son was paying taxes on both of those for a long time until they finally got them separated. They're well, not. The proof is on him that he just has to show what he owes, you know, before he okay. over here. Okay. <laughs> I need a motion on that to go ahead and give him permission to demo it, but hold off on, on this until we have a public hearing and also uh, drawings of the American law. Remain permitted to not pick up the house. From what I understood, when he spoke, he said that he was going to go in and talk to all of the neighbors on that street. And then he would be coming back and he would be bringing in um, plans of what it's going to look like and what the parking and everything's going to be. So we it, haven't heard anything back from him. Right. Because have you contacted you so? No. I, okay. I, the only reason I know anything, and you all know how I am, I will come to you and ask you. So that's the only reason that I know. You know, months ago. Yeah. I talk a lot. Yeah, well, I mean, like I say, it's, it's fine if he demos it, gets it out of there, and get that hazard. Big time. So, Big time. if he knocks it down, gets it out of there, and fills up the lot, that's fine. But to start doing any construction or, or anything like that, I would say no. I would say probably contact him and have him come in and talk, and then we can decide from there yeah, what he has in mind. Passed on demo at that meeting. Generally, they come in and see if there's a building in the middle or the town or the town or whatever. Don't need permission to ask your house now. Yeah, he's not saying it. I can speak on that. He's going to come here and get a demo from me. The next step is that he needs to be The council needs to set up a, a, a public hearing because it's considered low density residential. He needs to change the zoning for this for these multi units. And then there'll be a public hearing so there'll be input from the general public. Then you'll have the drawings here with this parking area. So this way, all these questions could be asked in the public here. Mm -hmm. The only question that you might have regarding this, if you're in favor or against, that's for that's the time <coughs> the public hearing that we have a special meeting on that. <coughs> At this point, I don't see it as a bad thing, but that's because the red house is falling down. <laughs> you know? So can we just give him a call and find out if we can make it to the next thing, or we can schedule a time when he can come in? He's called so yeah. I said I was told that the board needs to make it to the next thing. We need to have a hearing on, you know. Now the demo is fine. But the next step is for the board to set up a, a meeting, a special meeting. So you guys need to pass a meeting yeah. is what you're saying. And then after that, yeah. he needs to bring, after the mm -hmm. board approves his rezoning change, then what it called, we have to set up a hearing mm -hmm. um, for you know, going, bro. the board will have to make a public comment with his own only gets first. Yep, input will be the first one. And after that, it's either a yay or an a. And then he has to bring the set of drawings on with the parking, what he plans to do in front of everybody. This way, everybody's on there. Everybody's aware. So the next step will be to set up a hearing. So when can um, we get to do this appointment? Time. 
Well, you don't apply for a permit to knock it down if anything they tell you you have to knock it down. <laughs> People are good. Yeah, in April, they just wasted 15 minutes on something. They're going to do a Tuesday or Thursday. So that would be like on Tuesdays would be the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, the 30th. Uh, Thursdays would be the 4th, 11th, 18th, or uh, 25th or regular report. You should do the 9th, get it done. I'll do it the 9th? Yeah. It's okay with everybody else. He said he had kind of wanted to get it. Well, he had told me he'd like to get started by spring, which I don't know if he's still on that page. Do you know, Ken? Uh, we can just check with him and see what he's scheduled like, so this way you can see yeah. that during that camp April, April 9th. Say goodbye to a landmark. Mr. Yes. Ms. Gilman? Yes. Ms. Gonzalez? Ms. Gonzalez? Sorry, that was a yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to have then April 9th, 6 o'clock. We'll do a public, public deal on it. Huh? Are you going to notify? I mean, that's the dumbest question ever, but are you guys going to notify the people on Grimes? Like by mail, because there's a few people that don't have Facebook on Grimes. Or that, you know, don't know. Can you just post them? Yeah, just post it. Post it on post the door. Post office. Oh, that works too. Okay, if, if you could you know, either send it, like put it in the mailbox or whatever, or on the door, because I know my next door neighbor doesn't, you know. Okay. We'll make sure that the neighbors are notified so that they have that now. Plenty of time to uh, be here to me. So. <coughs> so, Everyone was fine with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, water and sewer tap. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, GovCard. What's a GovCard? Uh, it's a valve app. <laughs> right now, the town is paying all the fees for anybody who pays for a card or anything like that. So we're getting all these extra fees when somebody uses their credit or debit card. This so one no will, the fees will go to the so individual. They're not a lot. But they have a better platform, better, easier to deal with. So it's like a service charge. Yeah, they would pay. Yeah, I think it says... Um, so if it's under sixty dollars, it's a dollar seventy-five. If they do an e-check, it's a dollar seventy-five, no matter the amount. If it's a credit or debit card over sixty, it's three percent to the customer. So the people when they call in with their with their credit card or debit. Right, but the, the one we have right now, we are all the fees but they still have an option to pay with uh they could do money it. order or check oh yeah they could just bring those in but yeah now you can do a when check with that also when are you guys open? Okay. <laughs> so to pay by phone it would cut charge like a fee there would be a fee to use your debit card mm -hmm. Back to the Stone Age. Everybody else is doing it. DMV is doing it as well. Why do you lodge your gripe about that? I know when you go out to get your license plate, your debit card, they charge you quite a lot. Why do we hire for that? Can I ask a question? Another question? What about us that have limited income? That $1.75. 
okay, Cancel. with my Cancel. small check is, I mean, I know it doesn't sound like much to anybody else, but. No, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, we all have limited, I'm included. So, but the thing of it is, is that everybody's doing it. DMV does it. That's how, that we got it. Okay. That's how we got here. Look inside That's your it. heart. Just because everybody I'm else does it doesn't mean we got it. That, I mean, we're, we're, we're not, apparently not. Well, yeah. it is kind of different. Think about your grandmother. I understand that it that it necessary to defray the the town. Because everyone cost. else is doing it. Mm -hmm. The town has no financial concerns. Uh -huh. The town has no financial concerns. That's right. Oh, uh, I forgot that. Yeah, no financial we concerns. We do. They don't. Or you guys want to go with this program, or you don't want to go with this program. <laughs> so, about how much does the town? Go ahead and take it home with you, look it over, study it, and then next meeting, Right, they get their packet when they get here instead of days before. Yeah, I don't want to wait, but you know, just set a date for you. We got a motion. Motion. Second. 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 Water we can't we can't go with because we're still on restrictions. Sewer tap, yeah, we can. Uh, we have two that are requesting it. So like they're, well, no, if you go with Mignol's, cross that one off. They, they pulled it their app. So Mignol's pulled their app, so there's only two. How much are you sewer tap, Donald? Three thousand in city limits, six thousand outside of city limits. Plus ten dollars per linear foot to remain to the property. So there again, like I say, we can we can say yes on the sewer taps, but we can't say anything on water. Exactly. I think this is where things are coming to, to which I think it's important to straighten out. The rest of the board thing. I think some of the people are wanting their sewer taps approved because they said if they could at least get sewer, they could temporarily call in the water until a water tap was approved. The hot water. Everybody else. Yeah. The way we do is we just put in the fucking system. We have a motion separate on the sewer taps. Yes. Ms. Gonzalez? 
Representative of Yes. Mr. Piano. Yes. Second. Mr. Yes. Ms. Gellner? Yes. Ms. Gonzalez? Yes. Mr. Piano? Yes. Now, a flagpole. The last flagpole we had up there, the wind with the flag snapped it. Broke it. <clears throat> so, Before there's any other problems, what 25 foot has got to be the length of the flagpole? It can't rub against the building. Yep. It won't. It's got to be uh, oh. but apply it with flag law. What's the, because the last one was done by somebody else and wanted it right here. That's why I'm asking. How tall does it have to be and where? But it was a very cheap height. Yeah. We'll obviously. <laughs> right. But how tall does it need to be from the ground up? I think uh, 25 foot. 21 foot. 21 or 25. I've been told two different ones. Well, Look under the U.S. Oh God, uh, uh, flag pull act or the flag act. You'll find it. Three feet at eight down in the ground. Yep. It depends on the size of the flag, to be honest. But it's correct. That's the actual answer. Yeah, so that that is. Correct. It depends on the size of the flag, not the size of the pool. The parts in that and put them in the work, the garage in there so we could work on it in there. You might have to weld some parts. The school's going to do it. The oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You might have to ask to. Some it goes by the size of the flag. It depends on the size of the flag. Seven foot from the building. Joe. Six. Wow. Why can't I sit there? They're saying that it goes by the size of the flags. I mean, the length. Yeah, it goes by length and width on height. That's flag code. There is a flag act out there. Okay, how big does it have to be then? How about at least two feet or more than the length of the flag that you plan to fly? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quick and send it to the flag code stuff. Right. Yeah. right. You can always put the flag pole on the outside of uh, where the ramp is, right where the sidewalk is. Then it's on the wrong side of the building again, like everybody's complaining. Yes. You want it on that side, right? No. They said it was the wrong side over here where it you was. You can still put it on this side, but outside of where the ramp is. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. not it's in anybody's way. In it's not too well, close to the building. Well, can you get with Joe and get that figured out? Yes, sir. Get with the American League to get it figured out. Yes, yes sir. Yes. 
Sorry. Yeah. It's in rough shape. Yeah. So is the other one over in the community center on the wall. I'll stay in the hell. Yeah, we'll take them. Yeah. If you need somebody here, just carry them one from the church. Okay, if you want to set up a time, then maybe we can go one of the guys. Yeah. Pull up the bills. Can I ask a question now? The approval of this bill, what month are they for? You are going to be for what twenty four to three twenty seven? I am. Thank you. But these haven't been paid already? None of them bills from January till Yes. Yeah, they've been paid, but we on the board it was done that way. What's that? Even when you were on the board, it was done that way. I agree. Doesn't mean it was done board, properly. So That's why it happened. Nothing changed. Huh? Nothing changed. Oh, I know that. Yeah. yeah that's your problem, though. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Shame on all of you. Huh? Shame on all of them. <laughs> Okay. Motion, especially Tyra. I want to hear that for three minutes. So no, I'm oh, I'm sorry. Miss Gonzalez, volunteer driven I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not i that would be the 11th of April. Tyra said it would be okay. That, that was two weeks ago, three weeks. So, you know, she could have changed her mind by now. Well, no, because we're looking at a special meeting April 9th. That's the one for the, the buildings and stuff. And this is the first I've heard of it. Well, I had told her that I was going on vacation the following week. And for us to get, all of us to get on board, <coughs> we wanted to move it one week forward. Like I say, this but is the first I've heard. We did, we did talk to Tyra and she was, said it was okay. Because that was for the 11th of April. Did we talk to her more? The meeting's not till the 25th of April. Yeah, no, we know that. <laughs> That's two weeks. Because the 18th is the week before. Yeah, the week before. That's the 18th. No. Yeah, because our meeting's on the 25th. Oh, well, we told her the 11th. Yeah, that's. I'll, I'll, I'll ask her tomorrow. Because, like I say, this is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, I have seen it. I had to ask her if it would be, be okay, and she said yes. Okay, I'll ask her. Oh, like I say, this is the first time I've When she does it, it's a lie. When she does it, it's a lie. Well, wait, 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 wait. Are you guys leaving? Yes. There were people signed up to speak, including myself. We want to hear her speak. Very 
Three I have something important to do. She's right here. Let her speak. You called your name three times. No, you didn't. I didn't hear her name. Yeah, it's time to hear it now. You I didn't hear her name. name. A single time. I've been yes, here the Sheldon. entire time. You called your name three times. He Sheldon. said Shelby. I didn't hear that. I never heard that. Did anybody hear them call my name? No, I did not. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll tell everybody else then what's going on here in town. Oh, absolutely. We want to hear. And we can just keep on recording. How's that sound? Yeah, absolutely. There is a page you guys need to visit. It is called AguilarCorruption.com. Don't know who started it, but God, it's fantastic. They shadowed your website. Everything public that could be gotten off of there. Oh, it's beautiful, the amount of information you can get. Public records are considering public the records. amount of toxic water. Yeah, there is a lot of toxic water. You should talk about getting AI to help you find records and stuff. You didn't Listen, call me. I've been here the reports. entire time. That's right. I didn't you call shady you. ass motherfuckers. Are you serious? Yeah. Especially not three yes. fucking days. Yes. You did not she call said me. I never heard you. I got you. Yeah, you want to whisper because you don't want to. Is this how about you guys start talking into the microphones? Yeah, yeah. Instead, yeah. Of yeah. instead of hiding and We're done me. Wow, they're all assholes. You guys are driving off volunteers in this community with the corruption that is going on here. Requesting a report. No, he called and claimed he did something he didn't. I have no idea. I was not there.